Hello, my name is Darren Pomfrey. I'm the Operations Director and Responsible Individual for a company called Spectrum Healthcare, where you are at the moment, in a small town in South Wales called Tredegar, which was the founding uh, town of the NHS, where an Iron Bevan, the founder, actually grew up and started his first hospital in um, a big building just opposite us here called Central Surgery, which is now owned by Spectrum Healthcare and will soon uh, become a nursing home to supply um, quality staff and quality home environment for the people of Trudiga. So today we're going to show you, uh, uh, I'm going to introduce you to some of my managers and some of our operations here at Spectrum Healthcare and I hope you enjoy the film and uh, enjoy our company because our company first and foremost is a company of uh, putting service users first, our patients come first to us, you know, and as long as they're happy, we are happy at Spectrum Healthcare. Welcome. This is our reception area, so staff come in this door. And this is Alex on our reception desk. Hi, yeah. Alex, can you tell the viewers a bit about yourself? Yeah, of course I can. I've been here for a year, and I do administration, Spectrum. Um, I've been here for a year, and they've helped me out a lot. Of my qualification for level two in admin. Brilliant, lovely. Are you happy in your job? Yeah, definitely. Good, That's lovely. Brilliant, thank you very much. And this is Susie Harris, care manager for Powys Areas. Susie, say hello to the. Hello, everybody. Public. I'm Susie. I work in Powys area, in Pontypool area. Um, I completed my level two in admin thanks to uh, Spectrum. And do a little bit of everything, paperwork as you can see, um, out on the dom helping the girls if that's needed, and helping Darren and Jill in the office as well. Lovely, brilliant, nice to see you Susie. Okay, brilliant. So we'll take a detour now down to the other end of the Okay, the and this is Sister Julie Lively, um, our clinical lead and head of our nursing department here at Spectrum Healthcare. So Julie, can you explain to everybody your role and a bit about your background and your experiences? Okay, um, a bit about my background. Well, I've been nursing for quite a long time. Started off, did my general nurse training, um, then followed on with my um, registered level one training, leading on to diploma, and then I did district nursing. Um, I did my degree specialist practitioner in district nursing back in 2005 and then I managed to attain a, a band 7 team leaders post district nursing which progressed and I've obviously gained a lot of experience in that field. Nursing people in the community with long term conditions and complex needs. Uh, that took me right up until the time I semi-retired in 2016. Prior to that, also had experience working in theatres, uh, working in Enos and Throat Hospital. Following district nursing, then I came over to Spectrum as clinical lead. And from here, my role's developed and it's developing all the time, really, because things are changing within the company. Um, I'm involved with so, education and uh, training. Together. Under the new regulation of inspection of Social Care Wales Act 2016, how do you guys feel your role is expanding and how do you feel you're working so well within the regulations? Uh, well, obviously, since the, the new regulations, we're working alongside health and obviously the, the complex side of the company is combining with continuing health care mm. and we're working closely with uh, Elaine and Bevan. Mm. So you're so, dealing with a lot of other professionals yes, in the community. Yeah. 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 So we're working sort of as a multidisciplinary um, group, working right. alongside complex care, social workers, physiotherapists, learning, disabi mm. learning disabilities nurses. Yes, everybody that's involved with with the complex needs mm. and people with long term conditions. Brilliant. Yeah. So <coughs> imagine for our viewers now, if there's a service user at home and they're in a bit of a dilemma. I don't want to go into a nursing home, and I want to be nursed in my own home. Where do you fit into this? So, 
the doing? service user would contact Spectrum Healthcare <coughs> and then... They can contact Spectrum Healthcare or they could get their uh, social worker or their district nurses to contact us. Right, okay. Then we would um, pay a visit to them, right, get okay. information, backgrounds, things like that, what so their what needs were. Of, would that be an assessment or...? Yeah, there'd be, we'd do, obviously do risk assessments, we'd get a complete background, medical right. history background. And then um, we would look at what staffing needs they needed, okay. and then we'd introduce the staff to them, make sure they had the relevant training for that person. So and they the, would stay the with the same users, team. So it's the service user's choice yes. what staff they have as well. Oh, definitely. Brilliant. Okay. Definitely. So the, the, anybody in the public eye, you know, needing a service, they can choose who they have. Yes. It's definitely person centred. Right, okay. <coughs> and, and would you train them, Julie, or what would you do? Yeah, I'm involved with the training, and, and obviously, we deliver most of the training here in Spectrum offices. If there's any additional training where I don't particularly have the equipment, then we can call in other agencies mm. that can supply the equipment for us to work together to do that training. Brilliant. And what kind of training would you offer the clinical well, staff? The clinical staff um, Training around uh, catheter training, uh, we do suction training, there's epilepsy training, medication training, uh, care of skin, pressure damage, eye medication, which I think what else we do quite a lot really. Um, we do back to basics course yeah. where we uh, introduce um, especially uh, new people to care. Where they, uh, so that's actually a practical course, practical isn't it? Practical course, yes. mm. yeah. Where they learn how to deal with incontinence, how to look after somebody that's bed bound, right. um, where they can learn how to dress somebody, change bedding with somebody still in the bed. Um, we go through all the paperwork that's required that they need to do. Um, but we also get um, outside help. Uh, where they work with an iron bed and we train with an iron bed and where they do observation training, yeah. suction training, uh, nebulizer training, uh, peg feed training yeah. from the home with nurses. <coughs> and a lot of this is done via the complex care team, isn't it? Yes. Yes, that's right. So you do a lot of work with complex care? Yes. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, and, we work and they're, they're very, very supportive of the spectrum, aren't they? Yeah, We've we worked with them for quite some years now. Yeah, we don't only do the training with them, but some of our packages we work alongside them within the package as well Brilliant. on yeah. a day-to-day -day basis. Brilliant, okay. So, 100% supportive um, staffing for the NHS. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Okay, so this also is Rob Morgan. Rob Morgan is uh, one of our healthcare assistants. Uh, senior carers on the Powys area runs. So Rob, yeah. for the viewers, can you tell us a bit about yourself and what you've done? Well, uh, for the last uh, 20 years I took care of my uh, own daughter uh, up to the age of 12 and then my son uh, was struck down with multiple sclerosis and I was taking care of him and uh, my wife was struck down with uh, a heart complaint and I took care of her, and then I come to Spectrum to work, uh, work for, and uh, I've been taking care of uh, vulnerable adults uh, in Krikawa uh, for the last four years. Uh, I've also done uh, quite a bit in Brecon, uh, Turbine, uh, Talgarth, mainly uh, Krikawa base uh, myself, and quite a few others. Uh, with myself, uh, work around the clock uh, to give all the vulnerable adults and anybody else that is requested by the spectrum to be taken care of. Lovely. So you care for quite a lot of people, Rob. Well, we so you've got we your try, home we, life, you've got your work life, yes. so your whole life's about caring for yeah, people. Yes, for, for better people. I took care of my father until the day he passed away in my arms. Uh, he had cancer. Uh, my oldest daughter had multiple um, cerebral palsy, as my son, my oldest son now, have got uh, secondary progressive multiple sclerosis. Uh, and my wife, uh, she had 
uh, deep veins on horses, uh, right the way through the lungs, heart, um, to the come to the day that she passed away in my arms in Neville Hall Hospital. Uh, other than that, uh, anybody that I can supply care to uh, with Spectrum, just give me the... It's always a challenge for you. Oh, yeah. I love and, it. And another a good thing about you, Rob, which I'd like to mention to the viewers, uh, last year <coughs> we had quite a lot of snow, a massive crisis with snow, you know, where um, healthcare assistants couldn't get to, to work, you know, and kindly a few of the healthcare assistants who were familiar with driving 4 by 4s Rob uh, actually coordinated all the care uh, in the Powys area for the snow crisis where he drove all the carers on chef just to make sure every single vulnerable person actually had uh, care in the home you know e even with deep snow situations you know Rob was there to take every single carer you know in one particular area on chef so all the vulnerable people who were stuck in their homes you know and just couldn't get out because of the severe weather conditions you know, Rob was uh, an absolute angel, you know, with this situation in getting the carers to where they needed to be. Brilliant. Okay, good. Jill Williams, our registered manager for I, Spectrum Healthcare. Jill? I've, I've been with the company since 2016. Um, we've seen quite a growth. We've um, employed quite a few carers and offer fab opportunities for them to develop um, into senior management roles. Brilliant. Yeah, come Brilliant. and join come and join the Spectrum. Okay. And we show you what it's all about. Tell us a bit about your previous, you know, employment. You can't see me laughing. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've worked for uh, CQC and CIW, uh, with the private and um, authority led uh, social care. Um, 30 years experience uh, in social care with actually hands-on and management. Yeah. Met Darren in 2012 and came to work for him in 2016. Lovely. And you're happy? Very, very Good. happy. Lovely. And how do you see your role developing, Jill, over the years to come? Uh, Potentially going back um, hands on uh, during my retirement age, hands on care for Spectrum.